Hello and welcome to our third chapter tutorial on how to use Tinkercad, where you will learn how to design your first 3D objects for either 3D printing or virtual reality. Our objectives in this video will be to demonstrate how to manipulate objects, know the attributes that each object has, know how to merge objects, and to use empty spaces and create objects from scratch. If you're ready, let's get started. The first thing I want to do whenever I have a new project is to name it. I can click on the name generated by Tinkercad and type your desired name. Let's start by learning how to manipulate an object. First, you need to know what you're building and have a basic sketch so you can visualize the objects that will be needed for your object. For this video, I will create a basic fidget spinner with 3D modeling. You can be as detailed as you want. For my center, I will need a cylinder. Notice that whenever I drag and drop an object, it has different attributes. You can play with the attributes to see what happens. There are different ways to manipulate an object. You can resize it, raise it, and rotate it. Notice that the closest to the shape, it snaps to the degree lines. When I click on a node, that node tells me the measures of the object. If I want a specific size, I can click on the number and then type the measure desired. Remember that all the measures are in millimeters. I can copy and paste my shape or duplicate them. I can change the color and then I can align to the center of the objects. You might have noticed already that in the shape attributes, the whole option is besides the color. These commands allow you to create empty spaces. Just select the piece you want to make it a hole or empty space. As you can see, it's hard to imagine an empty space if I still see a see-through shape. What I'm going to do is to select both pieces and then I can group them to see the hole. If I ungroup the objects, I can go back as it was before.
For the blades, I can use a star to help me to position the blades. And then I can use a cube. I can recycle some of the pieces I original designed. I can group the pieces to make a solid one. In this video, we covered the basic tools to demonstrate how they work, but you can create more complex objects using the same principles.